Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcat. So today I wanted to talk about uh, making some simple post changes to your wire post processor. If we go ahead and post up our code, we can see this is the, the code format that we're getting here. And we may want to make some changes to that. Maybe we want to uh, change uh, some of the information in the header or change some of the formatting. And a lot of this stuff is pretty easy to do. Now I will warn you, if you're going to make any changes to your post processor, change the post processor name to a different name. Uh, this way you can always go back to the original in case you really make some mistakes. But other than that, uh, let's go ahead and look at it. This is our post processor here. Uh, the post processor is just a text file. They're very simple to edit. This is the CX, um, uh, let's see what we have here. CX20. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to open this. This is gonna. I'm gonna select. Um, I'm gonna select Notepad is what I'm gonna use, and we'll cancel this out. Okay, and then we'll cancel this out. All right. So here is the actual post processor. Post processor is just a text file. Um, you know, within this text file, there's things that turn things on and off. Uh, anything that you see in quotes is hard coded. Um, so this is like a comment. A comment you would type in at the control. Um, so you can quote or hard code in uh, values that you want in your post, like this whole line right here, that's hard coded. Same with this one here. Now there's other settings like uh, there's variables and um, th there's a variable list and you can check the help files and you can find the list of variables and these will uh, call out commands that are defined okay so the first thing you need to know about editing your post processor is how to turn debug mode on and that's on block number 22 currently debug is set to off so we just go ahead and turn this to on we save the file and then we go ahead and repost the code. Now the reason why you do this is when you're in debug, you can see these block numbers, block zero, block two, block seven, block four. So there's all these different block numbers that are happening and then these block numbers correspond to the post processor. Okay, so now that we have um, our debug turned on, we can look to the corresponding, uh, corresponding block. So if we look to block number four, you can see that's where this block of code is and there's nothing being generated there. So just as an example, I want to throw some information in there so you can see what I was talking about. So I'm going to do quote, uh, sample, code, quote. I'll go ahead and save this and I'll repost and now you can see our sample code is generated there. Okay, so pulling up the post, putting in, in debug mode, you can see where things are happening and then it gives you the ability to modify. Sometimes it's really simple, like maybe we don't want an M0 here, maybe we want uh, an M01 or whatever we may want. Uh, bringing up the post processor gives you the ability to edit that. Again, we can look at which block this is. This is block number five. Uh, so we can go to block number five and here you can see it says stop. You know, um, There are other blocks of code as well. And again, things that are in quoted. Quotes are hard coded and XR, these are, these are variables. And like I said, there's uh, documentation in the help files for that. Um, you can go down to the 200, 200 blocks, and this is where you get into modal and non-modal. Maybe you want to change your circular motion from uh, this one set to incremental. You could set it to absolute or change it to radius. Again, it's really simple to go in here and make these changes. And then when you're done with your changes, let me go ahead and remove this. Uh, you go back to the de debug uh, block and you turn it off. You save the file and you go ahead and repost your code and now your post processor is updated. So, uh, you know, again, always save a backup so you can go back to the original, but a lot of simple changes like maybe the M code's wrong or you want to throw another M code in there. Uh, you can just edit the text file directly, takes no time at all, and then be back up and running. So if you guys have any questions or comments uh, about uh, uh, posting, you know, you can reply back to the Facebook, the YouTube, uh, or whatever thread this video may be posted in. Otherwise, uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Thank you so much.